Welcome back and in this video I will be showing you how to use Safari view controllers in Swift. So Safari view controllers can be really helpful because it helps to open links within your application, gives you all the benefits of Safari and limits the user within your app so your user will not have to leave your app for any purpose to search for anything. You can just do it right in your app. So let's start by opening up Xcode create a new Xcode project single view app let's call it uh, SF for Safari hit next uh, create it on my desktop put it up in full screen so I'm going to be very lazy today head over to the view controller so I'm going to basically just import I typed import, import Safari services just like that so the first thing I'm going to do is create a button so let button is equal to UI button which takes in a frame which is going to be the view oops dot frame so the view how, how much of a big it is that's how big the button is going to be and then we will say view dot add sub view button then we will say button dot set title not set title color but set title you can take a string which is going to be open google for uh, oops dot normal and then yep that's all we're going to do so let's just run this application There we go, open Google, we can click on it, nothing happens. But that works. Head over to Xcode. I'll just give this a background color just to make stuff look nice. Make that blue. So here we have a button um, that's going to fill up our screen. Wonderful. So we're going to do something when the button is clicked, that is open Google. So we'll say button dot uh, add target target is going to be self and the action is going to be a selector i'm going to call this handle open google just copy this bit for uh, dot touch up inside so you'll be using touch up inside most of the time uh, and i recommend you use it most of the time because I uh, probably used one other one, I don't remember which one, but I think I did use one other one, but uh, most of the time just go with touch up inside. So we're going to say at objc func handle open google. So uh, that is why we're getting this error here in line 20. Now it should go, yep it went. So now that we have imported Safari services, very important, make sure you import Safari services. So once we've done that, we can just go ahead and say uh, let god let url not ler but let url is equal to url from a string it's going to be google oops https colon slash 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 www.google.com else we are going to just return out of the function so we have a url so let's say uh, let safari view controller is equal to sf safari view controller checks on the url there we go so is there any other parameter we have to fulfill just make sure that there isn't we can just go with this one so all you have to do is now present this so we'll say present uh, safari view controller animated true completion nil get rid of that 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 symbol i don't know what that symbol is but that's simple now that we got rid of it i think it should uh, work just fine so as you can see the button is now on the screen hit <coughs> so 
So as you can see, we're now in Google. Uh, it's actually just so uh, you can do whatever you want. Let's uh, search for Swift UI. Hit enter, and as you can see, we have the um, the the page uh, which shows you all the things uh, about Swift UI and all the benefits and we can just do whatever you want is completely normal just like a regular uh, safari uh, and of course you could go to uh, safari as well from here but what you can also do is just hit done and you're back to your uh, original screen where you left from so that is a big benefit of safari user doesn't leave your app so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hit like and subscribe and I will see you guys all next time.